going to be talking about embedding a calendar onto a website and even how to password that calendar so only your staff can see it. Um, in this example, I'm using Rack Outfitters for uh, Brandon, and uh, but you can do this uh, for any uh, staff calendar that you don't want to make public, but you want to on the website so you can uh, have your staff logging in looking at the schedule. So here is uh, my um, calendar, Keith at VineyardSites.com. I created an employee schedule and I added uh, me working 8 to 5 every day. And I've got Brandon coming in Tuesday and Thursday from 5 to 9 p.m. I color coded the blue, and I don't know if this is going to work when we transfer it over, but we're going to see. But blue means the Calhoun store, and green means the Dalton store. And I did that just when I went into the event. Um, there you can uh, do an event color. So that's how I did that. All right, so uh, there you can see our uh, work schedule. I go back to uh, starting here and it just uh, have it going forever. So now we're going to need to embed this into our website. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to settings, calendars, employee schedule, and there's my embed code. So I'm going to open up a new code or a new tab and open up my website. Okay, so we're going to create a page uh, for employee calendar. I'm sure there's not a page already built, but we're going to double check and see. Yeah, I didn't think so. So we're going to add new. I see that there's a update to the different things. So I'll need to do that in a little bit. But right now we're going to call this employee calendar. And we're going to hit our text box there. And then we're going to put this embed code in. Now here you can customize the color size and other options. And I like doing this because it gives us into the right size that we need to be. Because we don't need to be 800 pixels. We need to be around 650 pixels. Well, let's do 800. Let's just see what it does. Um, language, background, color, border. Um, Calendar to display. We're all into an employee schedule, time zone. Uh, do I want the title, the navigation button? I don't want the title because the page is going to be the title. Navigation buttons, date, print icon tabs, calendar list, time zone, default view, week, month, or agenda. So this will be our week. Which, if it was later in the week, there you can see who's working. So we'll stick with month. They can flip through up here. So we we'll update HTML. We'll copy that. We'll come over here and add it to this area. And then we'll hit preview. I want to preview what this is going to look like before I publish it. I'm going to have to publish it first, I think. So that's why I was saying it's going to be way too big. So we need to get this around 700 or 650. I typically prefer 650. So we're going to do 650 by 600. I'm going to update the HTML. Back in my text. Get that out of there. Put that in. Update. And refresh. There 
it is. So now you have a, a, a calendar. Now we need a password to protect this. So the, under visibility, you can set this to be password protected. Okay, and we're going to make the password. Ooh, what do we want? To, uh, we're going to call it. We'll keep it simple for now. A R C with a capital A apostrophe capital T E R Y X Arcturus. Okay, and update, and then we're going to log out and show you what this looks like. Now, I'm not going to put it in the menu or anything, so this is what people are going to have to remember. Uh, you can simplify this by uh, taking, we'll just make it employees. Let me hit update on that. Copy. All right. So we're going to log out for a minute. And this is what you would get protected employee calendar. You'd have to put in password capital A R C apostrophe capital T E R Y X. And I'm going to change that password here in one second. Uh, so this nobody who watches this video will know the password. Um, because again, this is really just a test. Um, as you can see, the color coding did not come across that, hey, you know, this is for Keith or this is or for Dalton Store or Calhoun Store. Um, so you may want to do a page for Calhoun Store, page for Dalton Store. Um, not sure how you would want to work that out. Um, that is one of the one of the faults in this uh, in this program. All right, so that's basic. Now under agenda view, you could put Keith work in Calhoun store, and you can default this to agenda view. Keith work in Calhoun store, Brandon work in Dalton store. Uh, so you could do that as the title of your event. All right, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> delete kind of what I've done, and uh, I'll leave the page up. I'll uh, take the password out um, and remove the calendar, but I'll leave the page up in case you want to use that page. Um, but in a nutshell, that is how you do the calendar. All right, y'all have a great day.